Well, I decided to uh, drag out an artwork which I've had sitting in the back of my storeroom for about um, two years almost. Uh, it's a work on board. I made the board myself, um, so it's pretty light. I'm probably going to start working on board again just because boards hard and you can nail things in it. And pretty much what I've done here with this wire. Previously, I was making a cat, and um, oh, I don't really like this painting particularly anymore. So I'm thinking I'm going to paint over it. Um, so what I th am thinking. Poppy! That's Poppy. Mm, hey Poppy! Yep. <laughs> um, what I'm thinking is, I found this really cool piece of iron. And I just love all the colours on it. Like all of these patterns and colours. And the white. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to actually Fasten it, fasten it to the board, put nails and screws in there and make it flat and then paint the other side, um, so make sort of like an abstract artwork. Yeah, so as you can see it's almost exactly the right size for the board, so I'm going to fasten it to that. Here's another one that I've just started working on. Uh, this one isn't work on board, it's just on, um, it's just on a stretch canvas. Um, now on this side it's like a metal, like a metal finish, and um, spray paint in the middle, sort of that spray paint, and then got this really cool textured effect. I don't know if the light catches it, but this is actually pink. Um, so that's coming along, I'm not sure what I'm doing there, but um, it's getting there. So oh, I'm so glad the weather is starting to get better finally. I mean, it's warm enough to be outside now. Um, so I've um, just screwed it onto the board now. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this side. I'm going to start with just gessoing it white <coughs> and taking it back and then building up um, of this idea of building up a really thick textured uh, panel next to it like really thick and bubbly and that sort of thing so we'll see how that goes So I thought I would um, start painting over the old painting uh, and take it back to white to start with, and then uh, decide what I'm going to what I'm going to paint on this side. I'm sure a lot of people are horrified, going, "What are you doing, painting over that painting?" I'm not too precious about it. It's been there for two years and I've been wondering what to do to resolve it and um, I just haven't found a solution. It was too dark anyway really so um, I don't have any issues about painting over it. It's going to be nice to go in a new direction. Like this is the first painting I've actually ever ever made using some iron, like some well, tin or whatever it is. I don't know exactly what metal it is, but um, it's going to be interesting to see how I resolve it. Uh, this work here, I was going through a bit of a, a pink moment and it was just sort of a spare of the moment. Oh yeah, oh, it needs pink, that's what it needs. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I actually ruined it because I threw this pink colour on there. Um, 
so I'm going to have to start again and repaint the whole thing over again and build up more layers um, and these circular things on the end were just wrong originally I had these wire loops there like that because um, I thought I, I thought they looked quite it was quite good but um, now I'm having second thoughts about it I think it's too much um, I tend to overcomplicate things and that's my biggest problem um, so I've got to learn less is more definitely and um, and this painting is sort of going to hopefully teach me that lesson that less is more and um, I really like it but I, it needs it needs something but I'm thinking it needs white it's crying out to me for white somewhere what I'm going to do is a good a good thing to do is take a photo of it and put it in Photoshop and then just add your pattern over the top of your design or what you think you might want to do to it so you can sort of get an idea of what it might look like uh, I know it's cheating somehow but in other respects it um, it works so um, I took some tree bark the other day and cast the mold from it because it was such uh, it had such cool effects um, and rings and things on it and that's the uh, result and I just cast this uh, in uh, paper pulp which goes hard um, so Oh, I thought it was really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it up and make it a bit bronzy and have it as a, like a little wall hanging. Um, so I thought that was a cool thing. My masks, well, I'm starting to spray paint them and um, colour them. This is one that I did a while ago, so I sort of like like those sort of colours. So I'm, these have been fired, so I'm just going to look at um, working on uh, some nice colour schemes so I've got I've got quite a few there, I've got one there quite like that one and that one and that one so that's what I'm working on as well I also uh, ordered some things off Etsy the other day um, they're like steampunk, this is a steampunk it's called, it's a ring but it's like it's got the workings of a clock in the centre of it and that's what it's like a ring but I'm not going to use it for a ring I'm going to use it in an assemblage artwork and same as this one as well here's another one it's um really neat um, it's like got little shiny bits on it it's supposed to be like a B or something so I thought that would look so cool on an assemblage artwork and this one as well that was another one this is another part to it so I thought it'd be nice to just have a couple of nice items that I can put in an assemblage work so I'm happy about that so that's about it I just thought I'd just show you several things what's going on and um, yeah alright